What's up everybody? This is Mike Deary from Rock Guitar Power, here to give you another lesson. This one's going to be on how to tune to drop D. So, drop D tuning, for those of you who don't know, is where we're going to tune just the big E string down to a D. This is a really popular tuning for, for metal, heavy rock, and just rock songs, because it's going to enable us to get a lower sound than we could get with standard tuning. So, what we're going to do is, detune the big E string down to a D. So that's it. It's pretty easy, um, but it's a lot of fun because along with being able to play a lower and get a heavier sound, it's actually going to make power chords a lot easier to play as well. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to advise that you guys do this by ear. Uh, we can definitely use a tuner and, you know, just tune the big E string down until it says D. But this is going to be a really good opportunity for you to get better at tuning by ear and uh, get a better sense of the sound um, just by using your ear instead of a tuner. So what we're going to do, I'm in standard tuning right now, so we have E, A, D, G, B, E. So we're just going to make this big E string a D. Okay. So what we're going to do is hit the big E string first and then hit the open D string right after it. Okay. So we're going to want to detune the big string down to the same sound as the open D string. It's going to be an octave lower, but we're still going to listen for the same pitch, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do it and just watch and listen. Okay, good. So here's a couple things to notice and look out for when you do it. When we detune or whenever we're listening to tune two notes together, we're going to hear it as a waveform going like this. When we get closer to being in tune, the wave is going to steady out to more of like a line. Okay? So if you notice, when I was detuning, it sounds real wavy. When I get closer to being in pitch, it settles out into what sounds like a straight line. Okay? So if you notice them right now, they sound the same. If I put it out of tune a little bit, you can kind of hear them pulsating like this. So when I detune it, I'm going to tune down and listen for it to sound like a flat line. Now one other piece of advice is to tune the note lower than the actual pitch you're trying to get to and then tune it back up into the right pitch. This is because when you loosen a string's tension, it initially wants to go back up again. So if you tune right down to pitch, it's going to go a little sharp on you. So we're going to tune a little bit lower than D and then bring it back up to D. Okay, so again, okay, so I can hear that it's in tune right there, but I'm going to go a little lower, and then go back up into it, okay? Cool, and then we're in drop D. So, the really cool thing now with power chords, before when we did a power chord, we had to do it with our, if we started on the fifth fret, for example, I'm going to put my first finger on the fifth fret, and the other two fingers are going to be on the seventh fret of the next two strings. Because I tune this string down a whole step, if I want to play the same chord, I got to move my first finger up two frets. So now instead of doing this, all I, get, all I need to do is lay my first finger flat and play the first three strings, and I got a power chord. Okay, if I click on some distortion here, you can see what I mean by getting a good heavy deep sound. All right, cool. So again, the cool thing here is that before, when I was tuned to regular pitch, I could only get down to an E. Now I could get down to a D. Okay. So that's drop D tuning for you. Have fun, and we'll see you soon.